speed distance and time the speed of an object tells you how fast or slow the object is moving the faster something moves the greater the distance it covers in a given time or the less time it takes to cover a given distance for example a car that is driven 100 kilometers in 2 hours is going faster than one covering 60 km in 2 hours calculating speed to find speed we should know the distance traveled and the time taken to travel that distance the relation between speed distance and time is speed is equal to distance upon time you may find this triangle useful when rearranging the equation to get distance is equal to speed into time time is equal to distance divided by speed speed is equal to distance divided by time example 1 nancy traveled a distance of 455 kilometers by car in 10 hours find the speed of the car distance traveled by car 455 kilometers time taken 10 hours since speed is equal to distance divided by time 455 divided by 10 km per hour is equal to 45.5 km per hour example 2 find out the distance covered when speed is 960 km per hour and time is 2 hours solution as shown on the screen distance is equal to speed into time speed is equal to 960 kilometers per hour time is equal to 2 hours therefore distance is equal to 960 into 2 is equal to 1920 kilometers per hour remember unit of speed is usually given in kilometer per hour or meter per second unit of distance is given in kilometer or meters unit of time is given in hour or seconds the conversion of the unit is done in the following way to change kilometer per hour to meter per second we multiply 1000 and divide by 3600 1 kilometer per hour is equal to 1000 divided by 60 into 60 meter per second is equal to 5 by 18 meter per second whereas 1 meter per second is equal to 1 divided by 1000 divided by 1 upon 60 into 60 is equal to 3600 by 1000 is equal to 18 by 5 km per hour relative speed normally the speed of a moving body is calculated as per a stationary object when speed of one moving body relates with another moving body then the effective speed of both the movements is called the relative speed of these two moving bodies bodies moving in opposite direction consider two cars traveling from a point the first car is traveling towards east at 40 km per hour and the second car is traveling towards west at 60 km per hour initially the distance between the cars at the starting point is zero after 1 hour car a covered 40 km per hour and car b covered 60 km per hour distance covered by the cars after 1 hour is equal to 40 plus 60 is equal to 100 km in 1 hour both the cars together covered a distance of 100 km 
speed of the entire activity is equal to distance upon time is equal to 100 km per hour. This speed is called the relative speed of both the cars. Therefore, relative speed of two moving bodies in the opposite direction is the sum of their individual speeds. If the speed of first moving object is S1 and the speed of the second moving object is S2 and they are travelling in the opposite directions, start simultaneously, then the relative speed is equal to S1 plus S2. Bodies moving in the same direction. Consider two cars travelling from a particular point and both the cars are travelling in the same direction. The speed of the first car is at 40 km per hour and the second car is travelling at 60 km per hour. Initially, the distance between the cars at the starting point is zero. After one hour, car A covered 40 km per hour and car B covered 60 km per hour. Distance covered by the cars after one hour is equal to 60 km per hour minus 40 km per hour is equal to 20 km per hour. Therefore, 20 km per hour is the relative speed of both the cars. That is, two moving bodies are travelling in the same direction and start simultaneously. Then, their relative speed is the difference of their individual speed. If the speed of first moving body is S1 and the speed of the second moving body is S2, they start simultaneously and moving in the same direction, then their relative speed is S1 minus S2. Example 1. A cop and a thief start run simultaneously with the constant speed of 7 meter per second and 5 meter per second respectively. Initially, they were 100 meters apart. After how many seconds the cop will catch the thief? Speed of cop is equal to 7 meter per second. Speed of thief is equal to 5 meter per second. They run in the same direction. Hence, their relative speed is equal to 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 meter per second. Distance to be covered by cop to catch thief is equal to 100 meters. Time taken to catch the thief is equal to 100 divided by 2 is equal to 50 seconds.